Back here in the Hudson Valley, religious organizations are weighing in on the apparent surge of gun violence. News 12's Carol Wilkinson is at a vigil for victims of gun violence in Scarsdale and has more on what they're saying. Carol. Oh, good evening, Tima. Good evening, everyone. As co of course, as we know, churches are normally places of peace and solace. But this one church, this one church in Scarsdale, now serving as a rallying point in the efforts to end gun violence. They come from various religious backgrounds, political affiliations, and neighborhoods. But on this night, they're gathered at the Scarsdale Congregational Church to pray for an end to gun violence. Tuesday's deadly school shootings that killed 21 in Uvalde, Texas, and the recent shooting rampage that killed 10 and injured three in Buffalo, serving as the impetus for this gathering. People have to just, it's everything you've heard here today, people have to just say, no, I am not going to live like this. Christians, Muslims, Jews, and other concerned neighbors calling for stiffer penalties, a ban on assault weapons, raising their voices on this night and lighting candles of hope. But our thoughts need to be accompanied by our feet. We need to march, we need to go, we need to speak, we need to knock on the doors of Congress, we need to camp out in the, in the Capitol Rotunda if necessary, whatever it takes to finally break this idol worship of guns in our nation. Some very strong, impassioned words there indeed. Now, organizers of this evening's prayer vigil say they know that the fight to end gun violence is an uphill battle, but they say you've got to start somewhere if you want to make a difference. In Scarsdale, Carol Wilkinson, News 12.